Hello, hello everyone. So today we are going to learn the multi-class classification where we will be seeing that uh, what is the multi-class classification. We have seen the binary classification. Then what is now the multi-class classification is. So what we'll be doing first, we'll be just doing the Google search guys. Let's, let's search the multi-class classification. So uh, what I'll be doing, I'll just copy and paste it. Okay. So you just need to do uh, these things also. Okay. So I have just searched it. In the machine learning multi classical function is the problem of classifying instances. Okay, okay. It's too complex. The process of assigning entities with more than two classes. Okay, 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 fine. Okay, so let's see in the images. You can see here, like uh, there are a lot of images. Like this is the multi class. Okay, so um, uh, you, have, you have seen uh, like uh, in the binary. There were two actually. Okay. So uh, basically uh, there will be uh, two like cat is there, dog is there. Okay. So so uh, like uh, you are just going to dis uh, discuss that. Okay. This is cat. This is not a dog or maybe uh, this is dog. This is not a cat. Okay. So this was all about the binary, but uh, in the in the multiple class, there will be different classes like cat will be there, dog will be there, then uh, then monkey will be there. Okay, let's see monkey is there. So there are multiple classes. More than two classes is actually called the multiple classes. That is the very simple thing. Okay, I hope you got it. So now, uh, now let's uh, see that in you know like some scikit learn classifiers. Uh, like uh, logistic regression are there, random classifier, Gaussian and B are capable of handling the multiple classes natively. Okay, so uh, we'll be seeing all these things, but uh, uh, like I have, I have just put it on the chat GPT so that I can expl explain you in the better uh, terms. You can see here, like binary classifier is just uh, like distinguished between the two classes, multiple classifier means more than two classes. Okay, fine. Then there are, you know, like uh, there are multi multi class classifiers are there. Like logistic regression is there, random forest classifier, Gaussian NB is there. So you can actually explore the Gaussian NB by just uh, searching on the Google. Like what is the Gaussian NB? Okay, Gaussian NB means Gaussian near base. So you can just uh, find it out. Okay, then uh, then let's uh, let's uh, go here, like. You know, uh, there are uh, like we can use the binary classifier to predict the multiple uh, classes. Okay, so like uh, there are two binary classifiers that are quite famous. So there were there will be uh, two um, strat strategy to classify. Okay, so that is called uh, OVR and one is called OVO. Okay, so OVR means one versus rest. Okay, so we, what we are doing, I just want to uh, want you to focus on the previous data set that what we have taken. It was the MNIST digit data set. Okay, so MNIST digit, what was the MNIST digit data set? So just see this thing. So it is the sample of 0, 1, 2 to 9. Okay, so what we are doing, we are actually classifying uh, like uh, 0, 1, 2 and as uh, to 9. Okay, so this was the thing we are doing. So what we do in the OVR, in the OVR, we take the zero <coughs> and we take the rest in a one class. Okay. So it will be zero or it will be non-zero. Okay. So this will be non-zero. Fine. So this was the, this is the whole thing. Now there is a one OVO. What is the OVO guys? OVO is uh, one versus one. What it means that it will find the probability between 0, 0 and 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, and so on. Okay. So this is the strategy. There are two strategies that we can use the binary classifier as a multiple classifier. Okay. So what we are going to do, we are going to do the binary classifier into multiple classifier. Okay. So uh, that is the thing we are going to do. Fine. So just see, like uh, 
this is the OVR strategy. So, uh, like I'll be also put the PDF, PDF of the this thing in the description. Just go and you can just go through the theory and all this thing. Okay, I'll be also uh, uh, there. There is a coding part also. The link will be in the description. Just go and access that. Then advantage and disadvantage. What is the advantage of the OVR? So OVR has the advantage that there are fewer classifier to train. Okay, like there are uh, fewer classifiers to train, uh, like less classifiers, like zero, uh, zero, and so. So what what will be happening here? Just see this thing in the OVR case. So zero and uh, one to nine, then one. 0, 0, uh, escape 1 and 9. So I'm just going to show you in a more detailed way, like OVR. Okay. So there are 0, 1, 2, and as this is to 9. So first classifier will be 0 versus 1 to 9. Okay. Then uh, there will be 1 versus 0, 2, 3 to 9. Okay. So how much classifier will be there? There will be, uh, I think, uh, uh, okay, so it is, it will be, I think, nine classifier. Yeah, nine classifier will be there. So overall nine classifier will be in, in OVR. But let's see in the OVO at how many classifiers will be there. OVO. <coughs> one versus one. So there are zero, one, two, three, dash, dash, dash to nine. So what will you doing? Zero to one. Then uh, one to two, two to three. 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6, 6 to 7, then uh, 7 to 8, 8 to 9. Okay, so how many classify? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there is 9. Okay, guys, there is 9. I think in the OVR, this is, this is going to be uh, more. So uh, let me check once. I think. Okay. So here it is in the OVO strategy, what we are going to do, we are just going to make the 45. Okay. 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 So uh, like in the OVO, just see like OVO, this is, this is the one thing, you know, like, uh, but I'm just going to uh, tell you in a more understandable way. Just hold on one minute. Just see, like uh, there is uh, 0, 1, 2, dash, dash, two, 10, 9. So 0 will be going to 1, then going to 2, then going to 3, then going to 4. So it, it is going to 1 by 1, 1 versus 1. Okay. Then it will be going till 9. Okay. Then uh, 1 will be going to, uh, 1 will be again going to 2 then three, then four, then five, and dash, dash, dash till nine. Then two will be going to, uh, like, uh, of course, uh, we have we have done the zero also. So we'll, it will be going to uh, three, then four, then five. So it have the formula that how many iterations it will have, and that is like n into n minus one upon two. So what is the n? n is the number, that how many numbers are there? So how many numbers are there, guys? Like 10 numbers are there, 10 minus 1 you multiply by 9 by 2. So this is 45 classifiers will be in the OVO. So just see that it will make 45 classifier guys. And in the OVR, this is just 9. Just 9 guys. So we will be thinking that, uh, of course, it is the very common sense. I am asking one question that which is easier to train? Is it OVR or OVO? So it is... In the common sense, you'll be thinking that, okay, it is the OVR, but, but, but guys, the truth is a uh, little opposite. Okay. So actually each classifier trained on a smaller data set, it will be faster. So OVO is actually faster that it actually um, works on the low, a small chunk of data, a small chunk of data. Okay. Like zero to one, zero to two, zero to three. Okay. It doesn't have to do that zero to one and nine. So this will be a big data set. You know, this will be a smaller, but this will be big. So this will be big. Okay. So this is the thing guys. I hope you got this thing. So that's why, um, like, uh, OVO is also good. 
But oh, in let's see in the OVR. OVR is that there will be very few classifiers to train. That is the good thing. And that is preferred for the most binary classification. So it is very good for the binary classification. Like each classifier is trained on the smaller data set, which can be faster for the algorithms. Okay. So uh, preferred uh, for the algorithms like uh, support vector machine and all. So this was the theory part, guys. This was the theory part of the multi-class classification where we have seen the OVR strategy and OVO. Now it is the practical part, guys. Let's 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 do some code. So I am just going to uh, copy paste the code. Uh, like the code is in the book. So you can see here. You can read it one by one. But I am just going to uh, implement this as quickly as possible so that this video will be as short as possible. <clears throat> So I'm just copy uh, this code, the, what it will does, like just see this thing, like it is importing the SVC, then what it is doing, it is actually uh, setting the random seed or random state so that the, it will not vary. Uh, the, the things will be same as in my machine and your machine also. And it what it, uh, it is going, this will automatically use the OVOS strategy and train the 45 classes classifiers for the 10 classes. So let's do that. Okay, so we actually write the extreme like this. Wow, so it have actually trained. So now let's make predictions guys. So uh, like we have we have used the o OVO strategy. So what we are going to do, uh, we are just going to put the text here. Okay, now this is going to be A. Okay, so training SBM with the OVOS strategy. Then let's uh, have some predictions, guys. I'm just going to put it here and just see this. Output is five and uh, okay. So it has predicted some digit. So let's see that what is some digit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this is the this is the actually array of the some digit. So we have taken a random digit. Okay, so it has actually predicted its label that what is it is going to be. Then checking the decision function scores. Let's see that what are, what are the scores. Let's see this. So you can see here the scores will be changing. Okay, so scores will be changing and the more score it will have means it will be the particular. Uh, you can you can see here here will be the nine nine scores. Okay. Just see this thing in the OVO strategy. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, 10 scores are there like uh, uh, 4, 4.98, 0. So, which will be the most? It will be the correct answer. So, 7.2 is the most. Okay, fine. Then, what we are going to do? Okay, 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 okay. So I think it is making any error in it most probably because or we are seeing it wrong. I think yeah, nine point three is the most. Okay, so just just uh, just uh, count it. Okay, zero, one, two, three, four, five. So at the fifth label, it is nine point three. It is the most predicted value. So that's why it is array five, guys. I hope you got this thing, this particular thing. Fine. Then uh, what we are going to do, we are just going to train the, we are just going to train one versus rest classifier. So let's do that. Mm -hmm. Fine. So, uh, we are we are actually importing the one versus rest uh, classifier and then we are just putting it the svc and the random state and we are fitting our data our training data x train and y train and this is we are taking the 2000 data okay and we are just going to paste it here let's see so this will be either because okay then we are just going to evaluate 
तो इट हैव प्रेडिक्टेड एर ए फाइव सो इट हैव ऑल्सो प्रेडिक्टेड द एर ए फाइव ओके 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 सो वी हैव टू चेंज एक्चुअली द एक्स ट्रेन गाइन्स now you can see your like you can also uh, see the improving the accuracy function so let's do that you know cross validation is cost takes a lot of time to actually uh, validate that what's the the most uh, uh, good answer is so let's uh, let's give it a time to uh, like run okay so this was the whole thing guys about the multi class classification and uh, you can see uh, then we have the error analysis and in the next video we'll be seeing all these things but uh, let it to um, let it be run so one thing i want to tell that uh, in the description there will be a quiz okay a quiz related to this particular thing so that is important to um, you know important to um, attempt so just go attempt that uh, quiz write the answer in the comments and uh, then i'll be i'll be telling your names in the next video that who have got the right answer so you have the chance to get featured on this channel and uh, that's it guys and like yeah like a pdf pdf will be a theory pdf will be in the description the link of this notebook will be also in the description just go and uh, uh, see that and i hope you like this channel i don't know like why this is taking too much time but uh, when you will be running it you will be getting a uh, uh, you you will be getting the same answer okay so thank you so much guys meet you in the next video